Hey, my name is Jussi and I'm gonna show you how I made a simple and small home YouTube studio in a spare bedroom in our apartment and help you to create awesome YouTube videos. By the way, this room is around 12 square meters, which is approximately 129 square feet. So it's not super big, but it's not the smallest either. But the setup that I've built here is designed to work even if you have half the space that I have. All right, let's have a look at the setup. So first of all, we've got the C-stand, which holds everything. Unfortunately, I can't remember the model and the brand of the C-stand, but all of the products that I'm talking about in this video will be linked in the description below. The whole idea of having everything mounted on the C-stand was to make my life easier so that if needed, I could move around the C-stand and have everything on place ready for me at all times. And all I have to do is to put on the light, turn on the camera and press record and start filming these YouTube videos. But first, here we've got the Kupo clamp and on the Kupo clamp I've attached this magic arm which is also from Kupo and at the end of the Kupo magic arm I've got the ball head from Joby which I actually also use on my Gorillapod. Another thing that has made my life so much easier and faster is the fact that I attached a Manfrotto quick release plate on the ball head from Joby because then I can do this very easily. Let's see if I know how to do it. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of vlogging mode here. And now, oh, my arms are too short. But that way I can easily attach the camera on the setup again on the flow. Here, I've put another clamp from Kupo and on this clamp I've attached the microphone boom arm from Saramonic and I really like the cable management capabilities because it just keeps everything nice and tidy. And of course we've got the microphone which is the Rode Video Mic Go 2. And I gotta say this is probably the best microphone that I've ever used. No need for charging because it's got no batteries and the sound quality is amazing. And the camera that I'm using here is the Sony ZV-E10, which has an amazing flip out screen, great eye autofocus, and so many good features. And most importantly, it's very reliable and easy to use. And it's only around 700 US dollars. So I gotta say that for that price range, it's by far the best YouTuber, vlogger, content creator camera that there is. And to connect the microphone into the camera, I'm just using a long extension cable that's connected right here into the camera. And the lens that I'm using with the Sony ZV-E10 is the Samyang 12 mm f2 lens, which is an ultra wide angle lens, which is great because if you happen to have even a smaller space than I have, then it's still usable because the field of view of the lens is so wide. And because it's an f2 lens, it means that it gives a bit of that background blur, which is nice. Let's talk about the lights. So obviously the most important light is the key light here, which is the small rig RC120B, which is a bicolor light, which means that you can go all the way from 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin, which is amazing. The softbox here is also from small rig, and I deliberately chose the smaller softbox that is 55 centimeters or 22 inches in diameter. And the reason is because I used to have a huge softbox from Nanlite that was 120 centimeters in diameter, which was way too big in my opinion, because it made this space feel a lot smaller. And honestly, 
if you're using it, especially in a smaller space than I am, then 55 centimeters is all you need. Last but not least, we've got the background lights here. First, we've got the Nanlite PavoTube 30C, which is this huge tube light, which is an RGB light that you can turn into basically any color. And I just happen to like the teal and orange look. I know what you're thinking, teal and orange, come on. But I just like it. And here on top of the shelf, I've got two smaller Nanlite Pavo tubes, the 15Cs. And on those 15Cs, I've attached this small power bank from Anker because the battery life of these smaller Pavo tubes isn't that good. And usually when I'm doing these talking head videos, before I get to the end of filming the battery of these die. I just want to say a huge thank you to Focus Nordic for collaborating with me to make this video possible because almost every product that I'm talking about in this video is provided by Focus Nordic. So without them, this video would have not been possible. I gotta say those nanolights in the background and in the side look really, really good, but they're definitely not necessary. I mean, just the key light from small rig looks really good this way. And especially if you're just starting to upgrade your home YouTube studio, you might not be able to afford those expensive nanolights. All right, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, I highly recommend that you watch either one of these videos somewhere here on the screen because I believe that you're gonna find it helpful as well. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.